Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel, Poverty Hill Adventures. Today's video is going to be a show your bow show. And our friend Chuck is going to show one of the latest creations that he made, the latest self bow that he's made, and tell the story behind it. My name is Chuck. Uh, they call me Honeable Chuck because I make bowls with holes in them, like this one here. I've been doing it now for, oh, probably close to 20 years. Most of them are Osage, almost all of them, especially with the holes in them. Uh, I picked up this stave probably down in Tennessee. That's where I usually get mine, at the Tennessee Classic. Uh, I've been making bowls, like I said, now for about 20 years. Um, this year is our 20th anniversary for our primitive shoot up at Hawkeye. And what I'm doing, I'm gonna donate this one. I'm gonna donate this one for a door prize at the, at the shoot. This one here, a little challenging, obviously with the hole in it. Uh, it came out a little lighter than I wanted. It was about 37 pounds, give or take. Uh, I was trying to shoot for around 40, but uh, it's working good. Uh, no big issues with it. I took it out and shot it. One course just to try it out. It's, it's shooting good, not, a, not an issue on that end of it. There, there, uh, there was one spot here I thought maybe it'd give me a problem, but it didn't. Everything seems to be looking good. Chuck, how many hours does it take uh, to make a bowl uh, like that? Well, it might, with the holes in it, it, it almost doubles the hours when you got a hole to it. You gotta make sure it's all down to one ring on the back and so forth. It might take from a, a, a stave you might be putting in 40 hours. Sometimes it goes 20, but it goes anywhere from 20 to 40, 50, 60 hours in it. it, it a lot of it depends on what the wood and what the wood wants to give you. It, as far as uh, the finish work on that, Chuck, what do you use uh, as a, uh, a finish on that bowl? Tongue oil, probably... I'd say 99% of what I make, it's, it's got tongue oil on it. I like tongue oil. It doesn't flow so good during the winter time I care. So I gotta take it in the house, which it's not always good. <laughs> you always have problems, but yeah, I, I'll use tongue oil. I try to dip it if I can, but obviously with the big hole, we can't dip everything. Now, the hole that you're referring to there, Chuck, could you bring it up closer to the camera here? That That is a branch that is actually loose in that hole? That's loose in the hole. I, I, most of the time, they come out. This time, it didn't come out by itself. I could. In fact, like I said, I'm going to donate the bowl, and whoever wants, can, I, I'll take it out for them if they want. It's to me. It's just it's a little different when it's on there. When it's it, still it adds there. some character to it, definitely. Right, right. And, and you've got the handle wrapped with. Is that jute? Yeah. Nice. Very yeah. nice. Yeah. I sometimes I wrap them. Sometimes I don't. And most yeah. of the bowls I make now, I got a rest, but the rest is just built right into the side of the bowl. And that, that's all one piece of wood. That's not. Yeah. That's oh. not two pieces spliced together. No, it's, it's one all, piece. All one piece. That it's just amazing, Chuck. I, it's ex I, it's semicolon. It's a little longer on the top end, which why why it doesn't bend the same as the bottom one. That's I didn't like that, but that's how it come up. Okay. And it it's shooting. I like I said, it's shooting. Uh, it's shooting good. Well, somebody's gonna be just thrilled to win that ball. It's very generous of you to, to donate that yeah. ball. Yeah, I'm getting to that age where I got to give back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can understand that. Let's take that ball up to the practice range and shoot a couple of arrows out of it. Sure.
I would like to thank Chuck for taking the time to show everybody the latest bow that he made. And I'd like to thank all of you for stopping by today. So until next time, everybody, take care. Thank you for watching. Remember to keep on trucking and believe in yourself even when no one else does.